It is literally the definition of respecting queer history and getting to know your queer elders, particularly with a focus on the trans community, which I think deserves so much love and protection and visibility right now. So to be able to have someone like Monica come in is like unprecedented, and I'm, I've been personally geeking out about it, and I'm on the tour. So This day is uh, very important to me because uh, vis trans people have to be visible, and so I'm helping in that respect to try to help uh, local trans people be a bit more visible. One day I was talking with the creator of the bisexual pride flag and uh, he said, you know, the trans community could use a flag too. And, uh, but he said to keep it simple, the least amount of uh, stripes, the, the cheaper it is to make. And uh, about two weeks later, I woke up and the image of the flag came to me, I drew it out and, and I liked what I saw, contacted the uh, people who created the bisexual pride flag and uh, got swatches sent to me. And a week later, I had the first trans flag. Equity, I think, is something that takes constant work and we can't just sort of say, all right, we reached inclusion and we're done. Uh, will never be done. And events like this, particular, that include young people, um, older people, people of all generations and different intersectionalities, are such an excellent tool to be able to do that. And I think it's great that we get to hear from someone like Monica directly, rather than just hearing about them. It feels good that uh, they have something to rally around, that they, that they feel pride in, and uh, that allows them to, to feel pride in themselves. It's still amazing. I've seen it in many places that I never thought I would see it. Uh, however, I would like to see it in the International Space Station. Uh, the rainbow flag has already been up there, so me next. <laughs>